Okay, right, so <clears throat> this is what infrastructure as code is. Terraform is the tool of choice when it comes to automatic uh, automating these infrastructure as code operations. And what that means is basically this is the infrastructure and I'm just showing you guys an instance, but everything in the cloud can be done this way. And so uh, this is provider AWS as in like, you know, we're creating in the AWS. Now this is syntax and it's basically saying AWS AMI, we're gonna use Ubuntu. AWS instance, uh, the AMI ID from here, instance type that we're specifying, key name, whatever it is, and then the tag, all right? So we did that. Now, right now, let's check the state. Uh, there is only one instance running. And I actually just tested out real quick, like the, uh, the demos usually don't really work very well, at least in my case. Oh, no. uh, so these are commands, once again, actually these are shortcuts. Okay, so it's kind of downloading the AMI and AWS instance web, it's creating. Uh, and it should basically show up here uh, and there it is. So that's the instance that we just created guys. And that's basically infrastructure as code is. Okay, uh, and what is that? Infrastructure as code. Uh, and then now let's go back to the SAS pass thing. Actually, let's, I will walk you guys through all the SAS pass, but like this is the keyword uh, that you need to know. The rest of the nonsense, you can just forget about it. All right, guys, so this is it for the virtualization. If I think of anything else, I will add it to this. Uh, but in the next section, we'll talk about VPCs, and which is basically the networking piece. Thank you. See you in the next section. Factor that intimidates a lot of people, including me, is this screen. Let me click on it. Uh, when you look at this, it's basically, oh my God, why did I even come on this website, right? But in all of this junk, there are five things, well, six things that constitute 90% of the work done by all of the companies together. And the first service is EC2, which we just uh, looked at, which is basically compute instances. Second is S3, uh, you guys know OneDrive, uh, Dropbox. Actually Dropbox, the guy created, he used S3 to run his service and all it is is external drives. Database, it goes a little advanced, so I'm not covering that in here. And then uh, basically these two are basically the main services and then two more. Uh, one is IAM, which is, Basically, if you are, have your stuff in the cloud, or just like your own machine, you need to create a username and password. Cloud, you have a ton of machines and ton more user. Uh, so that is handled a little bit differently. And then the fourth thing is virtual private cloud, uh, which is basically a virtual network. Uh, and that we're gonna cover in the next section. S3 is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, IAM can get really deep but I will show you guys how to create a user I will show you guys what the privileges look like and we wouldn't go well this is the introduction course guys the beginner course we will jump into these things a lot more but let's not get ahead of ourselves baby steps all right thanks